hello friends welcome to another video and in this video we will discuss one more advanced coding question of TCS NQT so this question that you are uh, watching on the screen is uh, asked on day 5 and uh, I've already uploaded the questions of coding from day 1 day 2 day 3 and day 4 and you will get the code in C++ also Java also and Python also now some of you wanted the code in C also so I will try to upload that in the comment section okay so no worry about that and if you have any other doubt you can put in the comment section so and there is a separate playlist I have made for all the NQT questions and the link I have given in the description box so go through that and try to solve maximum questions okay now we will see how to deal with this question so in this slot they asked this question which was easy one so we will see how to do and the code you will get here I will explain the code in Python and I have already made a separate video of same question with C++ and Java so whichever language you are familiar with go through that okay now see the question so the question is like this you are given two strings A and B okay so two lines of input will be given like this A and B now you have to derive a string C from A by deleting elements from string A such that string C does not contain any element of string B and you have to print string C so let us see how to do this so I have taken one sample test case and here this is string A and this is string B so two lines of input you have to take so this is string A and string B now what we have to do we have to derive a string called a C now that C how we will get that C we will get by deleting some of the character from A now you will ask which character I will delete okay so you have to delete in such a manner that the string C that you are left with will not contain any element of string B simple so I want to make this string A such that any character if I see will not be there in string B like suppose T is here and T is also here so I do not want this similarly E is in a string A also and E is a string B also so I do not want this I want to make a string A such that a string any character of this string should not be there that's all this is the question they asked so you might be thinking okay this is very simple so we will do one thing we will go one by one and we will check whether this string is there in B or not so let us start from first character so we will check okay is S present in this string so we will see we will go one by one and we will see okay S is not present it means it is fine we can keep this this okay because we don't want V so S is not there then keep it now we will go here and we will check okay it is T now we will check here is there any T in B a string B so we will see okay T is here the moment you see that T is here remove this okay because we do not want B in A any character of B in A this is the simple question see same thing they have written you have to derive a string C from A by deleting element now we are deleting element such that the final string that you will be left with that is C does not contain any element of B so we went up to here now we will check U so we will check okay U is there or not in string B so we will see okay U is not here so keep it do not delete it now we will check D so D is here or not so we can see okay D is not nowhere here so keep it now we will check E so E is here the moment you see okay E is in string B remove this I don't want now we will check okay N is there on string B or not so we will check one by one and we will find here so that also we will delete now we will see T so T is also here here this also will be deleted so what we are left with so we are left with S U D so that will be the final C so final C string will be S U D 
and this we have to print so you can see the output sud and it was asking also that c does not contain any element of b now you can check this recheck this you will check okay is there any element of b in c then you will not find so in b t is there so t is not in c in b e is here so e is not in c in b n is here so n is not in c so this is how they are asking the question okay so i hope it is clear nothing to do much one by one just we have to go through all the element of a and we have to check is that character or that element is present in b or not if it is present then we do not want if it is not present we want that okay so this is it now see the code so i hope after this many of you must have thought of the logic it's good but let us see the code so i will discuss the code in two manner or two methods and i know all of you must have thought of many different methods so there are there can be many methods but i will discuss two one so in method one you will see just two lines of code and in method two there are some extra lines okay so the logic is simple if you see the code it is in python and uh, if any of you suppose do not uh, you you want the code in c++ so you can go through the other, other video of same question or java okay so this is python so the first thing we will do is take the input so we took the input two string we have taken this is string 1 and this is string 2 okay so two input we have taken now this is answer so i have i have ready one string ans answer in this string we will put all the character which is there in a but which is not there in b that will be the final answer that is the c c string so that we will put in answer so let us apply two loop basically two loop is here here we will just do with one loop <clears throat> so four character in string so four character in string basically do like this and i know all of you know it but then also i explain so four characters in string one basically use for loop and there you can use any word just i have written character you can write write for i in string one for j anything you can write so for character in string basically go from one by one now that character i am checking that if is that character is present in string or not so we are checking not in string so we are checking that if this character is not present in string 2 then we will include that into our answer because we want that character which is not present so that's why directly we have written if that character is not present in string 2 add to the answer like in this way we will start from s and we will check here if s is not present so yes it is not present then add it to that answer so answer will become like this so answer will contain now for now answer will contain s because s is not present now for those of you who think that okay i do not know this syntax not present so for them i have made this two loop so for two loop is i think easy we will go one by one so i start from here and check each character of string 2 or string b start from s and we will check okay is this equal to s no is this equal to s no is this equal to s no so that method is second one okay so that's why we are using two loop but if you are familiar with this line see there is nothing extra in it we are it is just uh, we know why we use python it is very simple so it is just in plain english if that character is not present in string 2 it will just by this line it will check so the moment you will see okay it is correct it is not present we will add that character into answer so we will start with s and we check, check that okay it is not present so we included s in our answer so now we will start with t but it is present in b so we will not do anything s we will check it is also not present so we will add to our answer 
now we will check d is present in this one or not so d is also not present so we will add similarly e is present or not so e is present so skip it n is present so nothing to do t is present not, nothing to do so this way we will get the answer s u d and just print it so see i hope you understood it so that's all for you but if any of you do not understand this one and you want that no i want a loop i want nothing so for them i have made two loops so one loop will go from each character of string one and one loop will go from each character of string two and we will match this and if we got a match we will increase the count by one now why we are increasing the count by one so that afterward we will check if count is still zero it means we do not get any match and if we do not get any match we will add to our answer so i hope you got it but let me explain this again okay so nothing to worry but i hope most of you must have understood by now so we are discussing the second method so second method is a bit lengthy we are using two loop one loop will start from here and we'll check each element of this the moment you get any match it will increase the count but if you do not get any match the count will remain zero so after the loop we will check if count is still zero it means we know that there was no match and if there is no match it means we want that character so we will add it to answer similarly we will move next and we will get a match so we will increase the count by one now count become one okay so after the loop we will check is count equals to zero so count is not zero it means we know that there is a match and once there is a match we do not include that character okay so in this way finally in ns string we will get all the non matching one and we will print it okay so this is simple now try some test cases so start with the sample one okay so we got the answer as ud try some more so let me give some random okay okay so in this case we got sdd so g having a match f is also having a match s is oh s is not having match so we got in the answer f is there also there also d is here also but not here so d is in the answer now g is in the string a also in string b so do not want now d is in string a and not in string b so we add it so we got the answer sdd so i will put this code in the comment section you can try your own test cases whatever you want now try some here also both are same so here also let me start with student and 10 yeah so we got sud try some more any random okay so here also you can check d is here d is here y is here y is not here so in the answer h is here h is not here so in the answer f is here f is also here s is here and s is not here so in the answer g is here g is also here h is here and h is not here so in answer so in this way you can try your own test cases and this was the question they asked and these are all the constraint you can go through it okay so this was the this was all about and uh, try to solve maximum number of question to be expert in it okay and if you have any doubt in any line of code you can ask it freely and anything else you can write in the comment so that's all from my side and thank you guys take care